Well, hello everybody. This is Reagan, your RV Traveler's Voice, coming to you from Long Branch Corps of Engineers Campground on Caney Fork River, uh, just below the dam on Center Hill Lake. And we are about uh, 10 minutes off of I-40 uh, near Lancaster, Tennessee. And we're here for a few days. Uh, our campsite here backs up right to the river there in the background. Like I said, just below the dam, the river's running pretty good. We'll take a little uh, drive around the loop of the campsites here. And hopefully uh, this might be of use to you if you're looking for a place to, to spend the week or a quick stop off the freeway if you're passing uh, through as well. So stay tuned and uh, we'll take a, a walk and ride and stroll through the campsites. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, ask in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like uh, just to stay tuned to all the adventures of Fred and Ethel here on RV Traveler's Voice. And here's a quick overview map of the campground. And uh, we enter down here at the park attendant area, camp host, and inside's one through 26 um, or 225 uh, along the river and then loops back around 26 and onward up to 60 in the second this leg. There's a little brook right there. Yeah, there's a little babbling brook. We'll take a look at it here in a moment. And this right here is next to the highway. Yeah, so 141 is, it's not a busy highway. Uh, there's a little bit of traffic on it. But there's not much. a nice wood fence mm -hmm. there though. And then uh, we'll take a look at this uh, little offshoot area here that's across the brook. So that's 49 through 57. Now the other part of this, uh, not shown here, but uh, we'll access the area just below the dam too. And here we are at the main camp entrance to Long Branch Campground. Gate attendance site here to the right. And we'll make our way down the loop. And these uh, first group of sites on this loop are all along Caney Fork River. And they are, while well, they are fairly closely spaced, they are all at a good angle. So you have a Good view down to the river and not looking directly in on your neighbor. This is site number one. And across from site number one is the first of two shower and bath houses. And on the back side of this uh, first shower and bath house, there is a uh, free laundry. Washer and dryer set up, uh, first come, first serve. But it is free, so that's great. And we're here at site number two. And as you see, all of these are very long back end sites, fairly wide. And site number three here, right adjacent to the bathhouse. As uh, most sites here all have picnic table, fire ring, a small wooden table, as well as a little uh, fish cleaning hut as well. All very long sites, all fairly level. Maybe an inch or so on the sides, but overall good long level sites and here at site number four appears to be closed for the moment here at site number five also back in near the bathhouse and the first of a, a few kids play areas more shade here on this one most of these on the inside of the loop this first stretch of sites uh, are more out in the open and site six here, another riverfront site. Very large level site out here overlooking the river. Site number seven here on the inside. Nice view of the mountain behind you. This is site number eight. A large back end site. <laughs> site number nine. Site number 10. 
Site number 11 is here on a corner. There's a little cut across in this loop. It's here on the corner. Lots of shade here. And site number 12. Also lots of sun in the morning. Afternoon you'll be shady. It is an extra long site. And site 13 here. Get the shade in the morning, but the afternoon and most of the day you'll be in this full sun on site number 13. A little bit of an uphill slope coming into it overall. Site 14, a little downhill backing into it overall. Very large, shady site, long site as well. Site 15 on the inside, uh, full sun most of the time. So if you don't like trees around you, <laughs> this is the site for you, site number 15. And looking at site 16 here, the empty site. Also very long, a little downhill slope to get there, but uh, a very level, large river front site. Site 17, up a little little hill to get to this inside the loop site, but uh, a good amount of shade. Coming up on site number 18, good riverfront, nice view site, lots of shade, plenty long. Site number 19 here, on the inside, a little shorter, but it is still a really long site. All of the pads here are a fine crushed gravel, very level. Site and here we are at site number 20. Uh, that's our site. As you can see, a very long site as well, and it's uh, level front to back. And then we'll come around to the side and give you a look, a little more detailed look at the site. We'll say all these along the river, uh, you'll see, are protected by the, uh, the fence. A little bit of a barrier there because it is a very steep drop off to the, to the Caney Fork River just below. But you'll see, uh, as I said, all these are angled in nicely. And you have a nice view of the river running down below you there. Site 21 on the inside here. And you do kind of back up a little bit to your neighbors on the other side of the loop. They get a little bit tight here, but it is a good shady side in the morning. Afternoons will be full sun here at Site 21. 22 on the outside by the water. Another excellent shady site. Coming up on Site 23. Big rig parked here. You see there's plenty of room for it. Still plenty more room if they want to back in even further. Number 24. Nice back end site, river front. Not quite as much shade, but you do see the morning sun is uh, shaded across you. So take a look at the inside of that site. And between site 24 and 25 is a set of stairs down to the river. <laughs> give you a little bit of guidance on trout fishing as well as a, a reminder we are right below the dam and so when they are generating or when they start generating the water will rise uh, fairly suddenly and with a lot of turbulence so something you always have to be aware of but uh, they've been generating now for uh, about 24 hours since we've been here so the river continues to be up a little bit you see the stairs uh, go down to the platform at the bottom is uh, covered with water. They said it's about a four to five foot rise when they are generating and then uh, when not generating it is a gentle run of the river. So uh, hopefully we get some footage of the gentle run but uh, there are you'll find in the late afternoons a few boaters going up and down this fishing for trout or heading to the dam to uh, fish around the dam as well. And here we are at site 25 and aside from being close to the walkway down to the river it is the last on the loop and close to the walking trail entrance you see there in the background uh, but otherwise uh, pretty much by itself and at the end of the loop they have the second of the bath houses a very nice clean well-kept facility walking past site 26 now interior site back in full sun here it is a very very long site and here we are at site 27. 
fairly long and wide sight also out in the middle and in the sun most of the time. Across from 27, you'll find number 28. It's a little shorter sight. Uh, it does back up to a babbling brook and we'll go down to that area here in a moment and you'll hear the nice uh, sounds of the brook. If you like the peaceful water flowing sounds, you'll get those here at site number 28 on the loop. And here at site 29, also an inside loop site. One nice shade tree around you as well. And walking up to site 30 here on the outside of the loop, uh, also backs up to the to the brook. We're gonna take a walk into this site since it is empty. It is a long site, a little bit of a slope down, uh, but not much. It does have a, looks like a fairly level camper pad. We'll walk down to the site and you'll see you are right on a wonderful little brook here right behind your campsite. So if you like the hear the rushing, rushing water, this is the campsite for you, site 30. Site number 31. Also a relatively short uh, when it comes to this uh, campground, relatively short site, but it's still plenty long for the even longest rigs. It is kind of jigsawed in with your opposite side on the other side, so you are pretty much back to back with another site, but you do get some good shade in the morning. Coming up on site 32, back in sight, lots of shade. Site number 33 here. On the outside of the loop, a back end sight here uh, behind the fence, as we said, is the road. There's a wide open sight here, sight number 34, here on the inside of the loop. Out in the open in the mornings, afternoon shade. Sight number 35 on the outside, backing up the road, wide open, no trees. And number 36, the inside sight here. Couple of trees in the area. 37 here, a little bit closer to the road. A few more shade trees. This is site 38. Fairly wide open. Here by the, uh, the crossroad across the loop. And site 39 here, a very long back end site here facing over to the road into the mountain view. There's a nice view over there. Site 40, wide open here as well. Site 41 on the outside, backing up to the road. Nice views in the background there. Site 42 here on the inside, just past Site 40. Neighbors not too close to you. Number 43, and they're consistent back in sight. 44, a very long back in sight here on the inside of the loop. 45 here on the outside of the loop. Very long sight, as you can see there. Uh, one of the things though, you'll have the cars coming up, they're coming down the mountain at night with lights uh, basically shining into your campsite. So that's one thing to be aware of. And here comes a few of those cars. It is a big hill. So trucks coming down will typically have their uh, engine brake on and make a little bit of noise coming down the hill too for you. Site number 46, kind of a double wide site, extra wide and you have a little bit of a split level there because it does have some elevation, uh, not quite as level as other sites. This is site number 47, very long site backing in uh, facing the road. And we're back to the first bathhouse. There's the uh, washing facilities, free washer dryer there. And here with this little pop-up at site number 48. A little uh, unique hatchet-shaped site. And sites 49 through 57 are up on this little adjacent loop. We'll take a walk up there. And as we mentioned uh, in the intro, sites 47 through 49 in this little adjacent loop, it is uh, right near the road. You can kind of see it right through the fence there. So you do get a little bit of road noise uh, when this stray vehicle comes up and down through here. Another unique thing about this little loop, they have this group pavilion 
have a big cauldron you can make a big campfire in as well. Uh, so if you got a group of campers, this would be a nice little alcove to come in and pick a few sites and have a nice group area here as well. Site 49 here, uh, first one in this little grouping is along the brook. You do face, or the back of you comes right out to the road. That is a uh, relatively long, narrow site. But you do have adequate space for your picnic table and such. And tightly spaced in is site 50. A little bit shorter site, but it is also uh, kind of sloping down. Uh, it is right along the brook. And between 50 and 51, you do have the public access uh, sidewalk that takes you down to the bathhouse. We'll walk up here and you have this, well, this iron bridge, steel bridge, crossing the brook. A few little waterfalls here and there up and down the brook. And site 51, uh, tightly sandwiched in here, but also backs right up to the brook. And 52, still backing up to the brook there. And moving on around the circle, 53, a little bit longer, uh, backing into the woods. No shade on it one, on this one. Site 54, also on the loop here, uh, backing into the woods and the chain link fence behind you. And 55 is one of the few sites uh, that do have big concrete pads here. So if you like camping on the concrete, Site 55 and 56, 57, gonna be the campsites for you. This is Site 56, a bit of a slope to back up into it as well, but it is a nice uh, level concrete pad at the top. You are uh, relatively close in with your near neighbors though. And 57, similar situation. It is the closest site here to the road. Uh, long back end concrete drive site. And here in front of site 58 is the dump station. So a little bit of a disadvantage here, but 58, 59, and 60 are all full hookup sites. And site 59 here, sandwiched in between 58 and 60, is uh, another of the full hookup sites. Uh, fairly small, narrow, narrow, I'll say small, but narrow campsites as well. And site number 60 marks the last of the campsites. And uh, we have a volunteer camp host here in this uh, last of the sites, full hookup site. Just outside the check-in, to the left, we'll go up this way and give you a look at the dam, as well as we have a nice playground here for the kids. Some restroom facilities. down this way is the boat ramp and one of the things uh, one of the attractions about this campsite is uh, as you saw when we around, quite a few folks come here with their canoes and kayaks and there are several uh, river outfitters in the area so uh, canoeing and kayaking on the river fishing on the river as well very popular popular destination for that if that's your thing uh, this is definitely a place to come as you can see, this is the, the boat ramp, and we're not going to ride into the water. And here we are, right below the dam. They are generating now. So the water is up, flowing pretty good. Nice little waterfall coming out of the crack in the rock over there. See, there's a few fishermen out. Another boat dock on that side. Here on Center Hill Lake.
This uh, Caney Fork River is uh, well known for being quite busy in the summertime with canoers and with kayakers like this uh, family heading down the river. Like I said, there are plenty of outfitters here in the area. You don't have to bring your own gear, they'll supply it for you. And they offer a variety of lengths of trip from six, nine, 12 miles all along the peaceful Candy Fork River. And just to give you another view of the river, uh, this is the normal flow when it is uh, not generating power at the dam. It's about uh, four feet lower. And you can uh, kind of tell by the trees are now visible, <laughs> uh, the driftwood visible, and a lot more of the shoreline is visible. Water, and the water is uh, pretty peaceful at this point. Well, that about wraps it up here from Long Branch Campground on Center Hill Lake here in the middle of Tennessee, about uh, halfway between Nashville and Knoxville, about 10 minutes off of I-40. This Corps of Engineers campground has proven to be very nice. So if you're looking for either a quick stop or a little longer stay, just enjoy your time here along the Caney Fork River or on the lake. And uh, don't hesitate to uh, ask any questions, leave me any comments, feedback. Be sure and subscribe to keep up with all the adventures of Fred and Ethel here on RV Traveler's Voice. Happy camping.